Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we're gonna to be doing a lithium installation, or better yet, a lithium reinstallation in this 2014 EasyGo TXT. And if you are converting from lead acid batteries, the process is gonna be the exact same way. This installation was done a while ago, and it definitely needs to be redone. And we're also going to be replacing the battery tray with Ego's TXT battery tray replacement. Okay, we'll go ahead and run through everything that comes in the installation bundle. Of course, you have your 51.2 volt, 72 amp hour Eco battery. It comes with the terminal protectors and M8 terminal hardware. Next, you have your dash mounted voltage meter or LCD screen with the communication wiring harness. Next is the 120 volt charge receptacle replacement. So you just, this is a uh, perfect fit for the TXT and you just run your extension cord to it. This is your mounting hardware. Here's your mounting hardware for the uh, charge receptacle replacement. They provide some self-tapping screws to mount the onboard charger. And this is the side you plug into the charge receptacle. And this is the side that goes to the battery, the positive and negative. This is a 15 amp charger. Then you have your 12 volt reducer. This is a 30 amp, 12 volt reducer. It's really nice. And it comes with the wiring harness and we'll show you how to hook that up. And for this customer, the last item is his new battery tray. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and replace the battery tray. And to do that on each side, on each corner here in the front, there are torque screws. And then you have two half inch, uh, there's one's a screw and one's a nut and bolt here and here. There are also two half inch or 13 millimeter screws here. And on the other side of that bracket, you're gonna to need to remove these two bolts. They're 13 millimeters right here. And then you will also remove the two top bolts and that will release the vertical struts. If you get all the nuts, bolts, and screws out and it still won't budge, you can cut those vertical brackets and it should uh, loosen everything up so you can get that tray out. Okay, there's a little mounting bracket for the brake line on the bottom of the battery tray. And I think it was an eight or nine, maybe a 10 millimeter. It was really rusted and corroded. So I went ahead and cut that bracket off. And as you go to pull it out, you will see that there's a little riveted wiring harness bracket there. You'll need to pop that out. And I did cut the vertical struts in the back just to give me a little bit more wiggle room. You may or may not have to do that once you get everything disconnected. So at this point, we'll go ahead and address the charge receptacle. There are three Phillips head screws that hold the charge receptacle into the bracket. So go ahead and remove those and pull it out and you'll be left with this. So of course this was disregarded earlier, uh, but he still had it hooked up to his lithium battery. So you can get rid of the black, red, and gray. They went to your old lead acid batteries. You can just throw that away. Now the small wire, which is blue and turns to orange, this is the reed switch and it keeps the cart from working while the golf cart is plugged into the charger. So it needs to be energized. We're gonna come back about halfway and we're gonna clip it. We're gonna put an eyelet on it and run it to the positive post on our battery, which will bypass that switch. Once you snip the orange wire, you can go ahead and disregard the back of the charger receptacle and your old charging wires. In regards to the front of the charge receptacle, we are going to drill these out. These are rivets, not nut and bolt. So we'll go ahead and put the new charge receptacle into place and we will use the provided nut and bolts to secure it to the cart. Using your 10 millimeter socket and your Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and tighten down the mounting hardware. So while we have everything out, we're gonna go ahead and clean this battery tray top to bottom. We have the tray installed and we have the torque screw in. There's the half inch and there's another one in the back back there. We have those tightened on each corner. We did use the supplied Eco hardware and you have these two nut and bolt here on this vertical strut, same here. There's one uh, here on this top bar and then we replace the one on the top on each side. Okay, go ahead and set your plastic battery tray cover in place. And then I will go ahead and set the battery in place and determine where the mounting holes are. 
that match up with the battery. Then go ahead and drill out your holes. Before you put the battery in, I recommend mounting your charger and 12 volt reducer. That way you have more room to work with. I'm gonna use the self-tapping screws provided to mount these down to the plastic. Eco provides these plastic clips and I will put them in each of the three corners where the battery is not sitting. At this point, you can go ahead and set your battery in place with the terminals facing the controller. Line your holes up. Once you have your holes lined up, you can go ahead and use the supplied hardware to mount them down to the battery tray. All right, using our half inch socket or 13 millimeter, I went ahead and tightened the nut and bolt down on all four corners of the battery. And also Eco did a great job and put a hole right here in this bracket, the center ridge. And you can see I secured my brake line to that little hole. The mounting bolts are 3 16th Allen key. And you can see the battery tray and the mount is just extremely solid. At this point, I'm gonna take the voltage meter or LCD screen wiring harness and I'm gonna plug it into the communication port. And just so you know, these two ports right here are CAN bus ports. They're currently not used. They may be used in the future, but uh, for now, just tuck them away. You don't need them. Okay, go ahead and plug in the wiring harness for the 12 volt reducer. Now the skinny yellow and black is gonna go to our battery, positive and negative. The red and black is our 12 volt supply. And the last wire on this harness is the long orange with the eyelet. So what we're gonna do is, is we are gonna run this up to the dash with the voltage meter wiring harness. I clip the eyelet off and put a posi tap on and I posi tap it to the cold side of the key switch. In this model TXT, you have little plastic tabs, and if you push in the center of them, they will pop out, and you can remove this panel right here. Next, go ahead and pull the long orange through, and you're gonna wanna pull all your slack and hide it here in the dash. And you can see right here, we posty tapped it to the blue wire out of the back of the key switch. And what this will do is it'll activate the 12 volt reducer when the key switch is on. Next, use your 2 and 1 16 hole saw to drill your hole where you want to mount your dash mounted voltage meter. Using the LCD bracket and the hardware, what we're going to do is slide the voltage meter in our hole. Once you get your voltage meter in place, go ahead and put the bracket over the back. Using the nuts provided, go ahead and secure those to the back of the voltage meter. Next, go ahead and pull your voltage meter wiring harness through, and you're gonna wanna plug it into the back of the voltage meter, and you're not gonna get it wrong. There's a six and a four pin, they only go one way. Zip tie the excess wire and hide it back up in the dash. Using the provided M8 bolt, we're gonna go ahead and hook everything up to our positive post. We're gonna go smallest to biggest, biggest touching the terminal. And first is the reed switch bypass that we cut from the back of the charge receptacle, put an eyelet to it. 48 volt supply for the Eco reducer. Have the positive from our onboard charger. And the last item is our main positive cable. And you can see we have some corrosion. So we're gonna use a wire brush and go ahead and clean this up before we put it to the battery. Once you get them all together, go ahead and put it to your post. Then you can use your 13 millimeter wrench and go ahead and tighten it down, get it nice and tight, no wiggle room. Then you can slide your terminal protector in place. Now we'll hook up the negative side. And again, we'll go uh, smallest to biggest, biggest touch in the post. So our smallest is going to be the negative from the Eco 12 volt reducer. Then is the negative from our onboard charger. And lastly, the main negative cable, which runs to the controller. Go ahead and plug your charger input wire into the back of your receptacle. And you can see here that this is the 12 volt output from the Eco 12 volt reducer. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this and do some wire management, run it around, and I'm going to put it right here to this fuse block. We have the fuse block installed and we have our main positive and negative coming from the 12 volt reducer on the top and bottom. And you can see on the side and bottom, we have our 12 volt accessories. We have our 12 volt supply hooked up and squared away. So now we're ready to test the battery. Let's go ahead and turn the battery on with the on off button. It will illuminate. Put your cart and run. We'll go ahead and put the key switch in the on position. We'll test the lights to make sure they work, which they do. And we'll put it in forward. And we'll lightly hit the gas. And we have card operation. So at this point, go ahead and max charge your battery. Plug your heavy duty extension cord into the charge receptacle. And you'll know that the charger's on because the fan on top is running you can hear it. So we'll let this battery max charge and then we'll take it out for a test drive. All right guys, that's it for the 51.2 volt 72 amp hour battery installation by Eco. I hope this video helped you out and answered some questions you may have had. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. We are an authorized dealer for Eco battery so if you'd like to purchase one, please give us a call during normal business hours. You can also shop online at palmettobatterypros.com. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We have more lithium unboxing and installation videos coming out soon on different battery types and different applications. So yeah, we look forward to seeing you next time. We appreciate you watching. Thanks y'all.